So for anybody who owns a Nintendo Switch or Switch Lite, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the Arcade Ar Archive section of Nintendo Switch Online. And I want to do a review of it because it's so... F I actually own some of these games and they're very fascinating. So according to the descriptions in a lot of these... Is that these are old arcade ports. And they, they said that they faithfully reproduced many of the classic arcade masterpieces. Which, even though a lot of these games were before my time, but... Cause from what I've seen, you know, on YouTube, in comparison to, say, home ports versus arcade ports... Yeah, they are pretty... They are pretty, um, accurate to the arcade. Of course, with the exception of Nintendo, the, most of them are from third-party gaming companies that are either still around or they're no longer around, like Napco, SNK, Data East, and so forth. And speaking of arcade games by Nintendo, this features Versus Super Mario Brothers, which is pretty much the arcade port... Of the NES Super Mario Brothers game, except they have so I think they added like an extra secret level, and there's also some slight differences, and of course with the name versus Super Mario Brothers, but that's and also of course you know Donkey Kong, which started in the arcade, also by Nintendo, but this is an arcade port by Nin by Nintendo. Now I don't own the arcade port of Donkey Kong because I have the Nintendo Switch Online, the NES section, so I already have a port of Donkey Kong. But if you're interested in the arcade port, definitely a Nintendo Switch Online under Arcade Archives. And of course features other classics like Punch-Out, Donkey Kong Jr., as well as Frogger, as well as Burger Time. Hey, this one right here is one of my favorites currently, Poyon. And of course there's different modes you can play in too. Original mode, high score mode, as well as... Oh, what's cool about these arcade archive arcade archive games is that is that with the L button you can add as many credits as you want. It's almost like with the arcade when you put in a token or a quarter, and the R button is what starts the game. Okay, so I'm a pig trying to stop the wolves from taking the other pigs. Oh, <laughs> one of the wolves got me. And I'm supposed to uh, pop their balloons, so that way they can't get very far. And I can also punch... There we go, I can also stop their uh, weapons at me too, because I guess they can't go up those ladders, and if they come up, they can um, grab me, so... Oh, got me again. See if I can get. There we go. Got one. Ah. There we go. Got another. All right. That's four so far. Going on five. Yep. Six. Oh nope. That's six. <laughs> uh, seven. And I guess you can grab this um piece of food, and then from there you can um get more. Oh, they got me again. Yeah, so game over, and then you gotta start from the beginning, but, I gotta say, though, it's very, I actually love this game, I mean, this is my, I've, I've recently got this game over the weekend, and, oh, it's by Konami, and I played it for the first time, and I've just been, I've been playing it a lot ever since. So here are the Namco Museum Archives, Volume 1, the classic game Dig Dug, so I'm gonna try playing this, and for what it looks like, you know, based on what I've seen online, it looks like it's the original arcade port. So the thing with this version of Dig Dug, as far as I can tell, it doesn't require to have any credits. And and I guess you uh, press the start button, just like you do in the original. Yep. All right. I gotta say, the controls are really smooth, you know, j um, just just like they were in, uh, Poyon. Yeah, because I played the, um, a couple years ago, At Games had a Atari 2600 collection, so that was the version I played of Dig Dog, and it was, it was pretty, pretty good, I mean, the controls were pretty smooth, the graphics, yeah, they were kind of, because, you know, Atari 2600, they were a little bit limited, just because, you know, 
for its time, but it was still fun to play. But I gotta say, this arcade port, these graphics are, even for its time, look pretty amazing. I mean, for a retro game. So here's another classic arcade game, Kangaroo, by Sun Electronics Corporation. So it's very similar to Donkey Kong. So I'm a kangaroo who's got to avoid these monkeys while saving the, um, a kangaroo. Yeah, so it's almost like, oh, <laughs> monkey got me. Yeah, so you got, so, and so, so, yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> wrong button. Try this again. Oh, we both got it that time. Yeah, let's challenge. All right. Try this again. Oh, by the way, I'm playing this on my Nintendo Switch Lite. Good. Got that. Now keep in mind too, now I gotta say these are... I've got the strawberry. Got the monkey for he got me. And okay, level one completed. So yes, the uh, char the kangaroo character in here does move a little bit slow, kinda, but it the, it's still pretty smooth though. But I'm guess but I'm guessing that's kind of how it was, you know, at, at the time of the game creation. But it's still pretty smooth though. It's not like super super slow or anything. It's just um, but you know, it's kind of like how Mario was in the original Donkey Kong and how. Donkey Kong Jr. was in that original game, so... So for its time, it's pretty smooth. Overall, I gotta say. And this level actually reminds me of Donkey Kong Jr., to be honest. So in conclusion, Arcade Archives, I, I think it's worth it. Especially if you're especially if you're into retro gaming like me, and you're really interested in, like, games that were made, like... But it's just really cool, the fact that you can actually have, like, old arcade ports onto... A handheld console like Nintendo Switch Lite or the regular Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the games that I got though, Kangaroo, Namco Archives, Volume 1 and 2, and, and Poyon. Yeah, they're, they're, I, I, I recommend. And Poyon. I enjoyed them. I mean, they were so relaxing to play and it had that like nice balance of like challenging, but also like not too ch It was like almost like, like, like I say, if you're... Um, you're, you're, you're tired, but you're not too tired to sleep, and you just want to kind of unwind. Those are good unwinding games. But Arcade Archives are not just limited to the Nintendo Switch, though. I believe, um, the PS5, PS4, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X carry them as well. I'm not now on the Steam Store. I haven't found, like, Arcade, I Ar Arcade Archives specifically, but... They definitely have other retro games on there too, like the Sega Genesis Collection, the Mega Man Collection, Mega Man X Collection, and so forth. But they definitely do have their own set of retro gaming collections, like the Mega Man and Mega Man X Collection. They got the Atari Collection, similar to what's on the Nintendo Switch. They also got the Sega Dreamcast Collection, as well as individual Sega Dreamcast games, which the Nintendo Switch does not have yet. But who knows, maybe in the near future. So anyways, that was my uh, brief review on the Arcade Archives um, based on my experience of playing on my Nintendo Switch Lite. And I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!